What up motherfuckers, Mr. Mad Up in this bitch coming at you pre-recorded than a motherfucker. So today I'm gonna show you how to hack the Wii U in a easier fashion, I guess, than the other tutorial because this one you don't actually need a computer to get to the hack state. All you need is a SD card. It was formatted as fat. So just make sure it's format is FAT32. Then you're gonna want some type of like USB storage device. I'm just gonna use another SD card, a micro SD card in a flash adapter or whatever thing that converts it to USB. This will be our USB hard drive. This could be an external drive, a thumb drive, whatever you want. Right now it's an SD card. I'm gonna prove to you that both of these cards are empty. And this is pretty much the only reason I'm gonna need my computer other than to grab installs uh, using like the Brazilian method from earlier. Formatted to FAT32, two gigs available. So it's an empty card. That's all you need. That's all you want. Now I'm gonna put this one in the drive and show you that this one is also empty. You're just gonna use this as your Wii U proprietary format SD card. It's gonna be formatted to the Wii U format. Just eject this and we'll go pop this into the Wii U. Now that we know that both cards are empty, we can just pop this in to the Wii U. Uh, you're gonna wanna do this while the power is off. Put this in the USB slot, put your SD card in the SD card slot and turn the system on. Once it's on, you're gonna see the prompt where it says you've connected a USB storage device. That's this one right here. So you're gonna format it to the Wii U proprietary format. It's gonna say format. Should only take a little bit. That was an eight gig card. I'm only using that for demonstration purposes only. I would suggest getting a bigger card if you have one or an actual hard drive. But this works for if you only wanna install a few titles or whatever. Once your USB card is formatted and you got your regular SD card in there, the, the SD card is gonna act as the homebrew launcher host. That's where all the stuff is stored onto and it's gonna get downloaded too. Cause I'm gonna show you how to get from a stock Wii U to one with custom firmware using Mocha where you can actually play DLC, virtual console shit, anything from the eShop that you normally couldn't play. And if you notice through the Brazilian method on the UTIC download helper, all the titles in red were originally for something called red NAND which is like a redirected NAND the NAND is your system memory so basically you make a copy of your system memory onto the SD card and you run the Wii U from your SD card and then you can modify it apply signature patches and whatnot but we're gonna get into the uh, loading website so now make sure your Wii U is on 5.51 and your internet is enabled we're just gonna go straight to the loading website this is where you're gonna do everything you, you don't need a PC to look up the homebrew channel the WUP installer none of that madness just go straight from here it may take a couple times once you launch Launch into the loading website from the drop down menu you're gonna want to click homebrew app installer hit submit and from there you can download the homebrew app store if it doesn't get it on the first try just try again you're gonna have to power down your console and then uh, power back up anyways we're in the homebrew app store right now so we're gonna look up the things that we want all right once this is loaded now you can hit tools you're gonna want to grab the WUP installer GX2 this is basically the same thing as the mod Y but this has a nice graphic user interface but it has no functionality over the mod Y so once once that's downloaded Go ahead and grab uh, something else. Uh, use Spank It in case you want to download porn. Oh, okay, uh, <clears throat> sorry. Here you're gonna see the Mocha Custom Firmware CFW plus FS Hacks. Go ahead and grab that. Not sure what the difference is between the FS Hacks one and the regular Mocha Custom Firmware that's up here somewhere. But I'm using this one. It seems to work pretty well. So once you got these two installed, go to Loaders and get you your Homebrew Launcher version 1.4. Hit Home button. Get out of here. It's gonna take you to the Me Maker. You're gonna just exit that. So now you're gonna go back into the Internet Browser. Then you're gonna go into the Loading website once again because now that you have the shit on your SD card you can launch the homebrew launcher version 1.4 hit 1.4 hit submit all right finally after several <laughs> unsuccessful attempts we have now booted straight into homebrew launcher but let's get into the mocha environment it's gonna pop up a little prompt here you can shut it off if you'd like so you could hit skip this menu on launch but just hit a after all of this you're gonna see a nice little custom firmware mocha it says the sweet chocolate to your latte by dmock shout out to dmock for making this because this is pretty fucking amazing from here you would actually have to launch the homebrew browser again and hopefully be successful in that this is the furthest you can really get uh without a computer but if you want to install games or anything like that obviously you're still going to need a computer unless you rip a game directly to the sd card then install it straight to the usb drive i guess you won't need a computer for that but since you're in Mocha, you're gonna want to play virtual console games. You're gonna wanna play uh, eShop titles, etc. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. You can eject from here if you're not in Redman. And you could just pop this into your computer and grab files. All right, once you got your SD card,
card popped into your computer. I'm gonna open it up. You're gonna wanna create the install folder and drag and drop all the shit that you're trying to install into it. Well, I got a DS game, a regular Nintendo game, Super Nintendo. This is an eShop game and another eShop game. I'm gonna transfer that over and uh, we're gonna install those using the WUP installer GX2 in the Mocha environment because that's that's really only accessible in the Mocha environment. Okay, once these files have transferred over to your SD card, you're gonna want a couple downloads here. You're gonna get the Homebrew Launcher channel version 2.1 and the WUP installer GX2 channel. So these are installable channel files to your Mocha environment where you can actually have a button or whatever. Just drag those over here. So once you install these, they, they stay on your home screen and you can launch it without using browser hacks. So that's a nice addition. That's a nice plus of having the Mocha custom firmware. Once you're launched into the Mocha environment, you can launch your your eShop shit you can launch your homebrew launcher WUP installer all that good shit all right once you got all that shit put in there you gonna pop this into your wii u you can do it while you're in the mocha environment right now it'll be fine as long as you're not using a red nand which i'm not covering in this topic anyway so go to internet browser you're gonna have to do once again the uh the loading portal to get into the homebrew uh launcher right now Hopefully this will be the last time you really have to do this as long as you're in the Mocha environment. But uh, for now, we're gonna go into Homebrew Launcher. You can omit this step on the next try. See, it's already giving me shit, so it crashed. So now we're gonna have to restart, go back into the Homebrew Launcher, launch Mocha, go back into the loading website again to launch Homebrew Launcher again. You'll see what I'm talking about. Let me reset and I'll show you in a second. All right, now that we're rebooted, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump right into this loading website and we're gonna launch directly into the Mocha custom firmware and hit submit and it froze. All right, after several attempts of trying to load directly into Mocha, just doesn't seem like it's working. So I launched Homebrew Launcher and then I'm gonna launch Mocha. I swear I've done it in the past where I launched Mocha straight from the Loading website, but for whatever reason today it's not working. But either way, we're gonna launch back into the Mocha environment. We're gonna go into the browser hacks. Hopefully when we uh, try to launch Homebrew Launcher again from within the Mocha environment, it'll launch and that way we can install the shit that we need to install. Go back into internet browser, go into Loading, select 1.4 and submit. And hopefully it'll just uh, go straight to the homebrew launcher without freezing up. Come on, baby. Yes, finally. Fuck. All right, so now that we're here, this should be the last time we need to take that chance. You know, the original way to get in is just going to be uh, your homebrew launcher, launch Mocha. And then from there, we'll have these titles that we're going to install. So that's going to be the first two things we're going to install. So we're going to select homebrew launcher and we're going to select the WUP installer. Install these as channels. We can actually select everything if you want. Select all. Because th these are all the fake sign shit, which is the eShop e shit or virtual wear or whatever you call it. So just go ahead and install them all. Install it to USB, by the way. You don't want to install it to NAND because for whatever reason, when you install a homebrew launcher channel to your NAND, it doesn't seem like it works too often or if at all. So now that we're done installing everything, uh, we can just go ahead and get out of here. You're going to have the homebrew launcher, uh, its own tile. You're going to have the WUP installer as well. You can keep those, you know, off to the side somewhere so you know that you uh, have them accessible. You can just jump right into WUP installer without using any uh, browser hacks. So from here, you know, this is pretty good because instead of having to take that chance on doing the browser hack and having it fail on you, you can just go directly to the WUP installer from your uh, Mocha environment. You can also jump into the homebrew launcher as well. Just clicking the, the little button here should launch you back into the homebrew launcher. So now these are better uh, entry points. As long as you're inside the Mocha custom firmware environment, you, you have that option now, which saves you a little, you know, like one step, but um, it's, it's a lot more convenient when you're having issues uh, with the loading site or even self-hosting. So now here we got the shit that we installed, the Legend of Zelda, Nintendo, Castlevania, Super Nintendo, Axiom Verge is like an eShop title, Another World is another eShop title, I believe. Uh, let's launch it and see what happens. So we're in the Mocha environment right now, as you can see it just launches. So this is an eShop uh, download, this is not like a virtual console thing, but uh, it wouldn't launch if you weren't in the Mocha environment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset the Wii so I can show you what I'm talking about. If you try to play one of these. Uh, it's unsigned. It doesn't it's gonna say it can't be used the Nintendo network ID has been deleted So none of these are gonna work right now because they're all fake signed if you try to launch WUP installer or homebrew channel It's just gonna crash your system. You're gonna have to restart 
So don't do that if you're not in the Mocha environment. So I'm gonna jump into Mocha and we're gonna install a Brazilian method obtained download and jump into WUP installer. So right now we got Minecraft and the DLC and the update. We can install all three right now because the, the DLC you can only install when you're in this Mocha environment. All right, just reset it. I'm gonna see if this will even launch. So I guess if you download the DLC to a game, you can only play it in Mocha. Uh, otherwise you would have to delete the DLC and now it launches in the stock environment. If you want, you can make like a little folder where you could say mocha only or whatever and uh, just drag and drop all your titles that can only play under the mocha environment into the folder all right so now that we're uh, organized it'll help you out that way you don't forget which or which just in case you got a ton of shit on here so that should be it though i'm about to wrap this tutorial up uh, hopefully it helps you out hopefully right now you are in the mocha environment you've installed all your eShop games and other shit and you're playing them without any issues so that's it that's the end of my tutorial if you found this helpful thumbs it up subscribe you know share it with your peoples and all of them and um thanks for watching bye